I was three years old. Well, after a while, after all the time that I've been studying and having classes and having lessons and, and developing my artistic skills, I decided to, to get into the Latin American Idol, but it was not my personal decision. I just finished school and I was going to be in a university, you know, like be very, I have to go on with my life, have a normal life. And all my friends and, and family that always knew that I liked to sing and be a, a real artist because, let's face it, that was a real dream. They said, no, go and, and do the auditions and go to Mexico or Venezuela or wherever and, and do it, you can do it. Voy a vivir de nuevo Sin miedo a enamorarme Y desnudarme de tus besos It was 28,000 people that, that did the auditions and I was one of the 12 chosen, so it was good. The experience of representing my country, Peru, in Latin America I was very good. I never thought that something so little like a dream could be so big and reach to so many people. I didn't know, I was like not sure of what the the results were in Peru and everybody was so excited and everybody was so in the program and everybody was watching it. It was amazing. I didn't imagine that everybody could be doing that. I When I came back everybody was in the airport and they wanted to have a picture and I was just like, this is crazy. I'm the girl who left Peru to Argentina and I was like, what? Everybody was in a picture with me. They saw the program. It was really good. It was hard, but it was really good. La segunda finalista de Latin American Idol es Margarita. I got the third place and it was very good. I had good nights, bad nights, good songs, bad songs. But in the end, I think all the things that I got from the jury, the public, the people, the writing emails and the letters and everything. I learned a lot. Is she the girl of Latin American Idol? It's not a bad thing for me, you know? Some people take it like, oh, I don't want to be recognized always as a Latin American Idol girl. I don't want them to see me like the reality show girl. I think that if those are the doors that opened my career, then I'm glad that people remember and, and they come to me and they say, can you sign this picture, please, for me? It's, it's very nice and I hope it, it continues to be like that. <laughs> The thing that I want the most as an artist is just to reach people, to be able to sing a song and have a story that connects with someone. I think that it's very important when you sing something, when you write some songs and people say, oh I lived that, or I was there, or ah oh, that song is just perfect for me to tell something to somebody that I like or that I don't like. I think it's, it's the most beautiful thing of being an artist, just connect, connect with the people and, and be able to reach all the feelings as possible. My biggest dream is just to be in front of this big audience and have an, an impact in them.
After American Idol, I was in El Show de los Sueños. It's the biggest contest here in, in Peru. It's about dancing and singing for a dream with people that are dancers and singers, not professional. The dream that I was dancing and singing for was about rebuilding a church that fell apart when it was a big earthquake in Ica in here. These guys were dreaming about it. One was a singer, one was a dancer. And I had to dance different types of, of music. You know, I'm not this big dancer, professional dancer. I sing, but I'm not a professional dancer. Merengue, reggaeton, salsa, um, tango, ballroom dancing, vals. I had to dance everything that I never thought that I was going to dance. In theory, you know, you have to have this attitude and this confidence. We were, every week, we were rehearsing eight hours a day dancing, eight hours a day singing. It was very hard, but in the end, we were the winners. And I couldn't believe that we won. I had so much commitment with that dream. I've always had this feeling inside of me that when you trust in yourself and you want to do things and you fight for them and you just get into it and you involve yourself in every possible way, you can make your dreams come true. And I know that I'm all just starting because I'm, I'm really, a beginner in this thing in this industry but I want it I really want it it's my big dream and I'm gonna fight for it till the end so I guess that I want to be the, the proof and, and you know the thing that shows people that when you trust yourself you can do many things so I'm just working hard to, to make it come true you look so dumb right now